All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys about this one. Uh, this is a little funny gun. This, this gun holds a little bit of value to me uh, emotionally. So I found this firearm in the house that we moved into uh, a while back, contacted the previous owner. He never replied back to me, so I essentially got left with this firearm. This is a Marlin uh, 88 22 long rifle. So I didn't pay anything for this gun. This gun was a finder's keeper situation. Um, and let's jump right into it. Why I actually like this and what I want to tell you about it. So first, let's make sure it's clear. So I'm pulling over here. You can see nothing in the chamber. It's good. It's good to go. All right. So Marlin 88. Uh, I'm guessing this is used for teaching someone how to shoot or hunting a little small var varmint or something like that. Got a little picture of a squirrel on there. What I love about this gun is it's a rifle. I love all rifles. But what I love about this is Woodstock. There's something about Woodstock rifles that just have a very elegant, beautiful touch and taste to it where it's just like, wow. This is elegant design, like craftsmanship. Yeah, you know, it's not an expensive firearm. I looked it up, it's 200 bucks. You know, it's not expensive at all. Something you get to a kid to learn how to shoot. But it's still beautiful. It, even if it is chambered in 22 long rifle, it's a beautiful firearm is really what it is. And uh, I've taken this out and I've shot this maybe a thousand rounds through it. This thing cycles. I'd be like, this is my Glock of a 22 long rifle. I can pull this trigger as fast as I could and I could still, no malfunctions, just close, just runs. And it's accurate, ammo super cheap. It's great to teach someone how to shoot for the very first time. I mean, it's got no recoil. So I've taught, uh, you know, a couple people how to shoot off of this, uh, given them this when they're not very comfortable with a the firearm. They shoot this and they can work their way up to something of a little bit bigger caliber that they're more comfortable with. But this firearm, I'd say, you know, of course I didn't pay anything for it, I would go out and spend money on this and say it's worth two hundred dollars to me. Um, this would be a cool gun to just plank around, go out into the desert, shoot some steel targets, shoot for days. I mean, I picked up a uh, five thousand rounds of Arms Corps twenty-two long rifle for one hundred eighty bucks. So, and that's lasted me a year. You know, granted, I don't shoot very much twenty-two long rifle, but this has some value in it. When I'm broke and I spent a bunch of money on guns or parts, at least I can still shoot something. And this is it. And I can still be enjoyable, you know? So, Marlin, Model 88, Chamber 22 Long Rifle, Woodstock. Uh, loading is a little weird. It's not a magazine. It's not a clip. You have to pull out this loading rod, and then you stuff the 22 into the actual little barrel, and then you push it in. Or, you know, I'm sorry. You know, actually, I got that wrong. It shows you how much. All right. Actually, I take that back. I'm sorry. You untwist. You untwist the loading rod. You pull it up, and when you pull it up, there's a little hole. Right, might be a little hard to see on the video. There you go. You can see a little bit. There's a hole right there. You drop the rounds into. You drop the rounds into it. It falls down. And then once you have it filled up the capacity, you drop the rod in and you push it down and you twist it to lock it into place. It's got a little locking spot right there. You lock it in the spot. And then you would just slide the rack back and, you know, or slide the, uh, the chamber back and the bolt and uh, you would be good to go. And then you could actually fire. So it feels like I'm in a civil war when I'm actually doing the reload, I'm getting a musket and I'm, you know, stuffing the gunpowder in there or whatever. It feels a little strange compared to a modern day, but you have to appreciate it for what it is. It's a 22 long rifle, wooden stock, beautiful gun that's not expensive. It's cool. It's very cool to have. Um, I'll just say this because I know there's a lot of new shooters getting into the gun world. Would I buy this for home defense? No. Still again, 22 long rifle, not going to be the caliber of my choice uh, for self um, protection or self defense or anything like that or home protection. No. Now, if it's all I have between this and a rock, yeah, I'm going to pick this up every single time and pull that trigger as fast as I can and do what I need to do. But this is not going to be my first uh, first pick of a lock. 
So I'm gonna give you a little bit close up there. My stock is not in like the best condition, but again, you cannot beat free, that's for sure. So yeah, I, I would say, you know, if I didn't have this firearm and I had a chance to shoot it where I knew what it was about, I would spend the $200 and pick this up. Uh, if you have a child and you want to teach them how to shoot, I would say get them one of these. This is cool, especially if you live in a rural area where you can go outside and um, shoot some, some birds, pigeons, and you know squirrels and stuff like that. This is awesome. This is amazing. And uh, you don't really have to worry about 22, you know, traveling too far or going through different obstacles, um, you know, walls or anything like that or whatever you're shooting behind because uh, it is a smaller caliber. It doesn't have the same ballistics as like a 9 millimeter or anything, anything like that. So, uh, boom. I'm going to end it with like this. One set from my cold, dead hands. Uh, only because it looks similar to that rifle. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.